Wow, this is amazing. I'm a Mario fan and this engraving is about two meters tall. Imagine if you can create something like this at home. I'd be proud. I just can't wait to create my own. Hi guys, I'm very happy to be invited by Typo to experience the latest product Spider S1. As a laser engraving enthusiast, I am very interested in laser engraving and cutter. The Spider S1 supports amazing layers for my engraving and I'm really looking forward to experience it this time. Look at this. I hear S1 has been working this Halloween project for about two weeks already and we're gonna keep doing more I guess. Now let's go to the pro testing room and experience the Tybolt Spider S1 app plus. Let's have a look. Wow, it's really much bigger than what I thought. Let's measure it. I measured it and I found out that the width of the machine is close to 1.3 meters and the length is about 2 meters. This is a 4x8 standard plywood sheet. Let's start. The engraving file layout will become very easy and the board utilization rate will be very high. Now, let's take a closer look at the structure of the machine. The headset is very sturdy. We are doing guidance and transfer transmission design. The main board and wiring are integrated on the axis, which makes the electrical design of the y axis more concise. What particularly caught my attention was that the axis is equipped with two small fire extinguishing devices, which I have not seen in other engraving machines. It moves with the axis and can take the effect on the shortest time. So safety is indeed well ensured. Look at this 60 power watts laser head. It can also switch to 20 watts or 40 watts power. Normally, I will set a lower power to engrave pictures. The engraving effect will be delicate. The y axis uses industrial grade linear guides to rack the structure transmission, which has very strong stability. It can maintain good accuracy in such long distance transmission. Now, let's take a look at the enclosed design. It's the first time I have seen a cover like this for a big machine. It opens and closes super easily, and the cover is fire resistant, which helps keep the smoke and laser away. Let's actually test the cutting on plywood. A simple test using Lightbone's wire connection. I first set up the Lightbone software. This machine supports wire connection, which I personally like to use. One more thing, before we start testing, we need to make sure the air assist is all set up and that this south fan is connected to the air filter. Let's see for focus to the S1 workplace. The south system of the S1 is really powerful and there is almost no smoke leakage. Let's take a look at the test results. Wow, it is really beautiful. Now let's try other layers for our test. I made a human silhouette and the S1 completed the cutting of 1.85 meters in one go. This size is fantastic. Wow, now it's ready. The S1 just completed the coating of this silhouette, which is almost as high as me. This is impressive. We just made this beautiful furniture using the Tybog S1 machine, which is smooth, impressive. No black or laser traces on it. Besides laser engraving, the S1 also can support CNC functions, which I'm really interested in. Let's try cutting some acrylic and see how it goes. Let's test the CNC model first. The process is very simple. First, remove the laser head and replace it with the CNC model. It takes about 20 seconds and will be faster after you're familiar with it. The CNC model is 200 watts in power and is equipped with a single fluid and mill for cutting and carving cutter for making reliefs. Let's first try the cutting effect of transparent acrylic with a single fluid and mill. We can use double side tape to fit the acrylic paint. Set up CNC model and select CNC device in the Lightboard. Tybolt will provide CNC settings file and we can import to Lightboard. The whole process is very simple. Even people who have never used CNC can quickly get started, like me. The test result is very cool. The cut edges are very smooth, suitable for making some delicate small objects. Wow, I got many more things to offer. Look at this one. 
I'm taking this one. Overall, today's test experience was great. The S1 is indeed a very powerful device. What really impressed me the most about the S1 laser engraver is its flexibility. Its standard size is 4x8 feet, but if you don't need that much space right away, or you don't have the setup for it, you can start with a 4x4 feet configuration. That's enough for most tasks. And later, you can expand it to the full 4x8 feet if needed. It's a great design that lets users adjust and expand as they go. Thank you for watching this video. I will bring more interesting content in the future. Just stay tuned.